Hello booktube and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. This is going to be a short one because I have very little to report on this week. So uh, the past several weeks I've been saying that I've been quite busy and I have been quite busy and this past week has been the worst one yet. Uh, just busy with uh, a, a lot of work and grading uh, and everything and uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie, It's it's been a little bit stressful, but I'm hanging in there. But yeah, no no free time this past week. Uh, the only readings I've done has been little snippets uh, during lunch. Um, so I've got a grand total of 26 pages read this week, which, which I'll talk about briefly. Uh, just a couple quick things. Um, so as I mentioned last week... I have at some point reviews pending of uh, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, which I finished the week before, uh, and The Magic of Oz, uh, part of the uh, Complete Stories of Oz collection, uh, doing it as a buddy read with uh, Dane Reads. Um, so I, I finished both of these the week before, but have not had any time to film reviews of it, and I don't know when I'll get around to filming reviews for each of these, they're coming at some point, but it could be a few weeks. I don't know. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that I'm enough time is going to go by that I'm going to start forgetting what was in these, and you know the re review will will not be as sharp as it could have been. I may I, I may fool around with uh, rereading some of these. I've, uh, I've been I've been thinking about rereading uh, bits of it to to make the review sharper. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll try and listen to the audiobooks. There are, there's audiobooks of each of these on YouTube. Uh, there's like an audiobook of everything on YouTube. Um, pe people upload a lot of audiobooks on YouTube. Um, right. Other than that, uh, oh, I was I was tagged this week uh, in a in a booktube tag by uh, Williams Library. I. I, I uh, so uh, I'll leave a link to his tag in the description down below. Uh, I've uh, I've given that a promissory note. I, I've said, well, I'm, I can't possibly do it this week, but I'll get to it as soon as I can. And I, I do intend to get to it as soon as I can. Uh, could be a couple weeks. I don't know. Um, but in the meantime, if anybody wants to check it out, uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, William is a, a, a new booktuber trying to get his channel off the ground and, and wants to get it off the ground with uh, uh, his own original book tag. So uh, he, he, w he would like to see this book tag gain some traction. And if anybody wants to help him, you know, help a new booktuber out, uh, I'll, I'll link to his original tag down below. He he's uh, he only tagged me and one uh, one other person. Uh, I, I assume just because those were the only two people he had established a relationship with. Um, but he he he's looking for as many people to do it as possible. So can consider it an open invitation. Okay, uh, all that out of the way. Uh, I've started the Wayfarer Redemption this week. Um, I'll link. I filmed the started review. Sorry, let me start that sentence again. I filmed the started review for this. No, no, let me try that one more time. I filmed the started video for this book. Started video for this book uh, on this past Sunday. Uh, I'll link to that video in the description down below. In which I mentioned that, uh, you know, I picked this book up at a used bookstore. I didn't really know anything about it. Uh, was written in 1995. I, I actually have looked at the Wikipedia article for this series, and I th think it was a well-received series at the time. Um, it starts off with a bang. Uh, the prologue uh, about a woman trapped in the snowy weather about to give birth and being pursued by these uh, snow demon creatures uh, and I, I was really enjoying it. I thought, I really should read more fantasy, more modern fantasy. I'd forgotten how enjoyable this is. And then I got to the first chapter where there's just a 
whole lot of information about the kingdom and the town and the religious order that's in it. Uh, and, you, you know, those information dumps, which are common to the world building of fantasy. And then, then I thought to myself, oh, I actually, I remember why I don't read that much fantasy. Um, I mean, I know the, the world building is part of the appeal, but kind of the information dump right at the beginning where I was constantly going back to the maps to say, okay, wh where is this? Where is this? A lot of places being outlined. There's also a glossary in the back, which uh, I was consulting to try and figure out who these different religious orders are or these different creatures, excuse me. Um, I've barely gotten into this, as you can see, only 26 pages, but um, it, it reminds me of Game of Thrones a lot. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the opening of Game, Game of Thrones, where there's this ancient monster awakening in the Icelands up in the north, and then the people down in the capital city are getting vague reports of this, uh, about what's happening to the soldiers up in the north. Um, and it's talking about like a, a long winter, which, you know, unseasonably cold winter, and yeah, just really a lot of Game of Thrones type vibes on that. Um, but this was published in 1995, which I think was, what was that? The same time the first Game of Thrones book came out. So it, it, it can't be a copy. Uh, and besides which, Game, Game of Thrones didn't become a cultural mainstay until the TV series. So uh, I'm, I'm going to chalk that up to coincidence or, I don't know, maybe it's just common fantasy trope. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's all I'm going to say for this week. I, again, just barely gotten started with this. But, uh, yeah, I, to be honest, I am looking at another very busy week. Um, so I do not anticipate reading much this coming week, and I don't anticipate posting any videos on this channel until I do my next weekly check-in next Sunday. So I'll probably see you then.